I'm Mr. Seminary Series. How y'all doing? So today I'm gonna be showing you how to do custom cursors, like the one on my screen. So if you want a tutorial for that, I got you. I'll be showing you how to do it on Windows and how to do it on MacBook. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is find what you want your new custom cursor to look like. So the first option you can do is use Osu Spinner. If you use Osu Spinner, just download the one that you want. I did this one for example. Download it, then you want to go to your files, your downloads, and then you want to extract all. And then boom, you have your new cursor. So you can delete the old zip file. Now, once you have the image that you want your cursor to look like, you can also get it off of Google. You want to go into Photopea. You want to create a new project and make sure the width is 60 and the height is 60. Then you want to make the background transparent and create. Now, once you create it, open and place the image that you want. It automatically censors it, so you don't need to do that. And then you want to just export this and name it to whatever you want it to be. Now, if you want the cursors that I used in my recent videos, then use the link in the description down below to go into this Google Drive file that I made and I have a couple of characters already in here so if you want these ones use my Google Drive all you do is just download whatever one you want and then you go to your downloads and extract the file and once it's extracted then you're done you don't need to size it or anything else like that now I'm going to show you how to implement your new cursor on Windows first. So if you're on MacBook, please stick to this timestamp on the screen. So the first thing that you want to do is go to the search icon and search Roblox player. You're going to right click and open the file location. Then you're going to right click again and open file location. Then you're going to go to content, fixtures, cursors keyboard and mouse and then once you get here open another tab for whatever cursor you want and you just want to copy it then to delete the existing cursors already in this file here and you want to paste it and rename it to arrow cursor then you want to paste it again and rename it to arrow far cursor Now, if you want to change your shift lock, all you do is just go back, click this back button twice. You want to scroll down. You want to scroll down until you see the mouse lock cursor. You just want to delete this, paste, and then you want to name this to mouse lock. Is how you get your custom cursors on Roblox with Windows operating system. So if you have a MacBook, please keep watching this segment. All right, so I had to record this on my phone, but all you do is you click on the Roblox icon and you put show in folder. Then you right click and then you go show and package contents. And then you click contents, resources, then content again, then textures, then you click on cursors, keyboard and mouse, and then once you get here, you're going to delete these two existing cursors that Roblox already put, move that to trash, and then you're going to get the cursor you want and you want to copy it, then paste it in. And then you're going to rename it to arrow cursor. Then you're going to paste it again. And you're going to rename that to arrow 
fire coaster. Then if you want to change this to vlog, just click that back button twice. And then scroll down until you see mouse lock cursor. You want to delete that. Then you want to paste the cursor in again. And you're going to rename it to mouse lock cursor. Alright y'all, so this is the end of the video. Uh, I do want to say before I get off of here that if you use my cursors from my Google Drive, all you do is just delete the existing cursors like I showed for the other one and then just paste it in. All you do is paste it in, that's it. You don't need to rename anything. So, I made it easy for y'all. But, other than that, this is the end of the video. So, if you, if you have any questions, please comment them down below and I'll try to help you. But yeah, have a blessed rest of your day, y'all.